So, three dices are thrown. What is the probability that three numbers that come up can form the size of a prime? Okay. Let's say that if the three dices are thrown, the number which we are getting is nothing but one of the number is equal to x, another number is showing y, and the another number is z. So, these are the three numbers which are shown on the dice. And we know the property of a triangle that in case of a triangle, the sum of any two sides, it has to be greater than third side. So I can say that, let's say x plus y, it has to be greater than nothing but that is equal to z. Similarly, y plus z is nothing but that is always greater than x, and z plus y, which is also greater than nothing but y plus z is greater than x. So instead of z plus y, we should take here, that is z plus x, it must be greater than y. So we need to identify, and we also know one more thing, that all the values, that x, y, and z, all these three numbers, they are belonging from 1 to 6. None of the number can be more than 6, and none of the number can be less than 6. So under this condition, we need to find out how many possibilities are there. Now, let's say start with this one. Now, if I start making a case like this one, it's going to be very, very lengthy and complicated. So we'll try to identify in how many of the cases x plus y or in fact, x plus y is nothing, but it is lesser than or equal to z. Because it is easy to count x plus y is lesser than or equal to z. Alright, so let's say if I say x plus y is lesser than or equal to z, these are the things which will not satisfy the conditions. We will find out how many cases our conditions will not satisfy. Them. Now, let's say if I say z is equal to 6. Alright, or if I start with z is equal to 1. So I am saying that x plus y is nothing, but it must be less than or equal to 1. And since x and y both are greater than 1, so this case is not possible. The minimum possible value of x plus y is going to be equal to 2 here. Alright. So I can say here, there are 0 cases. So number of solutions, I'm writing down here, number of solutions in this particular case is nothing, but that is going to be equal to 0. Similarly, if I say x plus y is nothing but that is less than or equal to 2. So x plus y is nothing but it is less than or equal to 2. So if x plus y is less than or equal to 2, so there will be two possibilities. In fact, you can see here, not two possibilities, there is only one possibility. That is, both of them can be equal to 1 and 1 all. 1 plus 1 is nothing, but that is less than or equal to 2. So in this particular case, the number of solutions will be nothing, but that is, there is only one solution. Now similarly, if I say x plus y is less than or equal to 3. If x plus y is less than or equal to 3, so how many possibilities are there? If we start counting, I say this is nothing but this is 1 and 2, alright, and then 2 and 1. There are only two possibilities. Any other possibilities? Yes, there is one more possibility, that is 1 and 1 also. Alright, so 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 and 2, and 2 and 1 here. So, a total of 3 cases are there in which it can be less than or equal to 3. So, I can say, let's say this is equal to 3. There are 3 solutions in this Similarly, if you observe here, I do not know how many of you know this property, but the number of solutions for any equation of this particular form, if I say x plus y is less than or equal to k, where, where x and y are, where x and y are natural numbers, where x and y are nothing but they are natural numbers. So if x and y are natural numbers, in that case, the total number of integral solutions will be always equal to the sum of first k minus 1 natural number. Remember, sum of first k minus 1 natural number. So if you know this thing, you can find out all the cases quickly. Sum of first k minus 1 natural number. Let me write it down again. All right. Sum of first k minus 1 natural number. All right. Okay. For example, if I say k equal to 3, I have just shown it to you. There are three possibilities. If I say k equal to 4, k equal to 4, so the possibility is that if k is 4, so x plus y is less than or equal to 4, so it can be equal to 0, it can be equal to 1, it can be equal to 2, so for equal to 2, 1 and 1 will satisfy, if it is equal to 3, then 1, 2 and 2, 1 will satisfy, if it is equal to 4, then I will say 1, 3 and 2, 2 and 3, 1. So you can see it here, 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is the sum of first 3 natural number, which is 6 here. So when I say that x plus y is less than or equal to 4, 
we'll get a total of how many solutions? That is sum of first three natural numbers. And the sum of first three natural numbers is nothing but that is going to be equal to six here. So similarly, we can write down because there are not too many cases are there. All right. So I can say x plus y is less than or equal to four. All right. So next thing, if I say x plus y is less than or equal to five. Okay. So if x plus y is nothing but it is less than or equal to five. So the total number of solutions will be nothing but sum of first four natural number and sum of first four natural number will be nothing four into five by two that is equal to ten here. And the last case, if I say x plus y is nothing but that is less than or equal to six, so sum of first five natural number which is fifteen here. Okay. Another thing, if you observe here, this is nothing but this is they are forming a triangular number. You can see it here. That is zero, one, three, six, ten, and fifteen. These are basically it's a series of a triangular numbers. This particular series, which is very very common in CAT, also you can find out a lot of questions has been asked in KCAT on the basis of triangular number. So here it is one, three, six, ten, fifteen. These are triangular numbers. That's just a pure observation. All right. So if you add all of them, the total value it will be comes out to be nothing. Okay. But anyway, you should also remember one more fact. Like I said, in CAT, a lot of question has been asked on the basis of triangular number. Sum of all, sum of the all the numbers which are triangular numbers, it is always given by n into n plus one into n plus two by six. Sum of the numbers, sum of the series or triangular series, it is always equal to n into n plus one by two by six. Here we do not need that, but just for your info, that if your series is a very large one. Like in the cat, when the question was asked, that there was a series which was very large series, so we can use this formula directly. So if you want to use this formula here, you can use it, or we can add it also because the numbers are very very less here. So if I add zero plus one is one, one plus three is four, four plus six is ten, ten plus ten is nothing but that is twenty, twenty plus fifteen is nothing but that is going to be equal to thirty-five. Just see, one plus three, four plus six, ten, ten plus ten is twenty. 20 plus 15 is nothing but that is going to be equal to 35. So in this particular case, this will be nothing but that will be 35. So let me write down the total sum is 35. And if I use this particular formula, you can see here there are how many numbers? There are basically five numbers. You can neglect the zero. So here we are starting from one. So there are five numbers. So that is five into six into five plus two is seven by six, which is same as nothing but 35. So you can easily observe the sum of all the numbers in a triangular series. So there will be 35 cases in which x plus y is nothing but that is going to be less than or equal to z. Similarly, there will be 35 more cases in which okay, x plus x plus z is less than or equal to y. There will be 35 more cases, and also I can say there will be 35 more cases in which I can say y plus z is nothing but that is less than or equal to x. 35 cases. So 35 plus 35 plus 35 is nothing but that is 105. So there are 105 cases in which the sum of two sides can be lesser than or equal to the third side here. So here, since we need to find out our answer, uh, what is the probability? So the required probability is nothing. I can say out of 216 cases, since we are throwing a dice, so the sample space in this case, our sample space it will be nothing but that will be equal to six into six into six, which is 216. So out of 216 cases, in 105 cases, in 105 cases, it is uh, it will not satisfy. So in how many of the cases it will satisfy? We can write it down. That is 216 minus 105. So my answer will be nothing but that is 216 minus 105 upon 216. So 216 minus 105 is equal to 111 by 216. Okay, and if you divide both the numerator and denominator by c, so I think I get that is equal to 37 upon nothing but that is 37 to 21, that is 72. So the answer for this question is 37 by 72. So this should be your final answer, that is 37 by 72. So the correct answer for this question is 37 by 72. So I hope that this is not clear to you.